Okay, so when you start um, playing around with this board, the first thing you want to do is connect the debug USB cable. And uh, so there's there's two USB ports on on the board, um, and the one that you need to plug into is the debug USB port. So when that's done, open up uh, Atmel Studio, uh, like I have over here, and it'll automatically detect uh, your board. So SAM 4S Explain Pro. And now go ahead and create a new project. And in this, we're going to choose the GCC ASF board project. Um, name it SAM. Um, yeah, okay. And now, so it's going to uh, load up my list of boards. The one we want is the AT SAM 4S uh, 32. No. 4S. It's called it. It's right here. Yeah. D32C. Uh, click on that and it will give you the Explain Pro. You select that and hit OK. So this will open up uh, a sort of like a Hello Hello World project for you. Um, and uh, what it's going to do is when there's there's a user programmable, programmable LED on the board, which is called LED0, over here, and then there's a user button, SW0, so every time you press SW0, LED0 should light up. files over here, click on main, and so it'll open the main file. Very simple initialization of the board, and it, the code is over here. When I repress the button, the LED goes on, otherwise it goes off. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, unload this into the board, hit start debugging. So yeah, uh, remember to choose the debug tool. So when it opens this, you gotta. So the SAM 4S has an onboard debugger. Uh, so you just click that, and all this is fine. And run again. Yeah, I'll just forget that. So at this point it seems like it's ready, so looks like it's uh, loaded and let's check. So yeah, so every time 
Click the button, SW0, DLED, like that.